So here we are, ready to do some screening tests on our unknown tablet material. So I placed a small amount of, ta of, of solid into each of the first five uh, little wells here. They correspond to these tests um, in order, same numbers. Um, so let's proceed with our testing and see what happens. So we have our marquee reagent, which tests for opium alkaloids. So I'm taking about 100 microliters and adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 drops to well number 1. And there's a place for our waste. All right, so far so good. So that's for opium alkaloids. So apparently, uh, right now, that doesn't appear to have any opium alkaloids. So number two is cobalt thiocyanate. We may also need some of our stannous chloride. Let me shake that up. I'm sure that looked crazy on the camera. So we'll take our cobalt thiocyanate. Add some drops. It's number two. Right now it just looks like a clear blue solution. To this one, I believe we're supposed to add a little bit of water. And we'll add a little bit of water to our solution. All right, so again, we're looking for a blue precipitate. stirring. I don't see a blue precipitate. We'll even try a little stirring over here. Oh, and by the way, um, aspirin actually turns red after about 15 minutes with a marquee reagent. Because I don't see any blue precipitate, I'm not going to bother to add our stainless chloride. I'm going to assume that's a negative test. Our PDMAB, I believe, testing for LSD. So we'll take a small amount of this solution, add it here. I don't see any significant color change, at least not yet. cobalt acetate, which although we know it's supposed to indicate, sorry, barbiturates, we didn't have much luck when we actually had barbiturates, known barbiturates in our samples. So we get our cobalt acetate. Isopropylamine. And last we have our Meeks reagent, which does decompose with age. However, hopefully, if we have anything in there, we should still see a decent result. All right, so there is our final result for our color tests. I don't see anything significant. We do have slight coloration in number one. Um, it hasn't been 15 minutes, and in 15 minutes, I know that's supposed to turn red from acetosalicylic acid, which we know is in our sample from the IR analysis. So it's still possible something was adulterated. Um, we're gonna give this a little bit more time because I know some of these reagents change colors over time the Meeks in particular. However, use your own interpretation, so make sure to compare these directly to the tests that you guys did with the exemplars and with the, um, with the solid unknowns from the punch bowl. Now this unknown specifically was from the, um, from the, uh, from the, from the driver uh, who had the tablets in her, in her purse.